I get asked this question all the time, so I thought I'd explain what a turbocharger and supercharger are. To make the video a little bit more interesting in the background, we're gonna be running some clips of cars that we've reviewed that have either a turbocharger or a supercharger on them. First off, let's go over the concept of forced induction because turbochargers and superchargers are forced induction systems. Simply put, they compress the air that goes into the cylinders. Because the air is compressed, you can fit more air and more fuel into the cylinders, resulting in more power during combustion. An example of a turbo car we've reviewed is the 2015 Volkswagen GTI. A turbocharged car uses exhaust gases. The exhaust flow spins a turbine which powers the compressor and forces air into the engine. The Ford GT we reviewed uses a supercharger. A supercharger uses a belt attached to the engine to run the air compressor. As the engine spins, it spins the supercharger and forces air into the engine. Which one's better? You know, it's hard to say. Turbochargers have greater efficiency as they're recycling exhaust gas. This is why we see a lot of new cars nowadays that are more fuel efficient have turbocharged inline four cylinders. However, superchargers, because they're always spinning, don't suffer from turbo lag because they have boost at virtually all RPMs. In the end, it seems like it's the personal preference of the manufacturer. Hope you found this video useful. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Give us a like on Facebook. If you have any videos you'd like to see us make or cars you'd like to see us review, leave a comment below and we'll try to get on that as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Till next time.